we already knew that. So today we're on our way to Calgary, Alberta. And you're going to say, what are you doing in Calgary, Dan? And I'm going to say, we're cashing in some copper. And, you know, some rats. Uh, a couple of varieties. And then from there, we're going to a place called Strathmore, Alberta. Which is a half hour east of Calgary. And we're going to go pick up some auction winnings. And then from there, we're going to Falcon, Alberta. To pick up yet more auction goodies. So I hope you all enjoy this video. I know I will. Oh, and just on a side note, everybody's saying how the price of copper is in the tank. Well, when I called yesterday, they told me that, hey, we're a little bit more than when it was in the spring. So I thought, what the heck? Might as well get some stuff prepared. Haul it into the city since I'm going in that direction. And uh, so that's what next week's video will be about is Motor Mountain Left Bridge Edition. Hope you enjoy the show. So guys, just going to run over the numbers from the scrapyard run. Um, I would normally would just show you the receipt, but it kind of, when I was driving down the highway, it, I heard this whoosh sound and I think the receipt went out the window. I tore the truck apart. I uh, found a old packages of cigars. I stopped by the, the Petra Canada dealer there and they had an empty waste basket and by the time I cleaned all the garbage out of the back seat, it was a full waste basket. Still no receipt. But I did take a picture and I sent it to Mrs. Junk. Uh, at least I have record of it. So we had 16 pounds of copper aluminum rads at uh, I think it was $1.20 a pound. Um, there's a wrinkle in my photograph here, but that was $34. Uh, clean number two copper wire, um, that's at $4.80 a pound. I had 118 pounds of that at $566.40. I had two pounds of Lumex at two twenty-five a pound, which is four fifty. Now, I normally would strip that, but this was that cloth-covered stuff, and it's got the asbestos in it. I'm not touching that. Uh, clean number one copper with five dollars a pound, and I had let's see, sixteen pounds. So that was 80 buck. Two pounds of yellow brass, uh, which was the um, heater core. So that was five dollars and seventy cents. Now, I think the guy had a piece of two-way tape on his magnet because I had copper brass um, rods, and he says they're dirty. Said he, his magnet stuck to a piece of steel. And I, was like, I don't know. So, anyways, 26 pounds at $1.60 a pound for 41.60. So that's two rods. Um, then we had number three copper, 56 pounds. That was that stuff in the fiberglass and, you know, the tape. Well, it was taped with a resin on it. 
It came out of some Transformer video, you know, a while back. So that was at three twenty a pound for one hundred seventy nine twenty. I had some pistons with the piston ring, uh, the wrist pins still in it. So light, dirty cast aluminum, twenty four cents a pound, sixteen pounds, three dollars and eighty four cents. Forty percent extension cord wire, eighteen pounds, dollar twenty five a pound, twenty two fifty. Insulated copper number two, which is fifty percent. Dollar ninety a pound. I had sixteen pounds. That's thirty dollars forty cents. And insulated number one seventy percent eight pounds of that twenty three twenty for a grand total of nine ninety two fifty, which more than paid for my trip to go get my auction items, which you're going to see next. So that was a decent payday. Actually very happy except for the rats. I think he had some two-way tape on his magnet because uh, they were clean when I left my place. He says he found steel wall. He didn't say anything actually. He just put it on the receipt. It's kind of a chicken shit way of doing things, but whatever. Now we're on our way to Strathmore, Alberta, to pick up our auction stuff. So guys, we're back from the auction, and the first thing that's on the back of my truck is this wagon. But it's not as vintage as I wanted it to be. It's got the plastic wheels, so no real value there. So what I decided to do is turn it into a hot rod wagon for my two-year-old grandson. And that's going to be shown on the Chrome Culture. I was thinking like a 10 horsepower snowblower engine, but my buddy says that might be a little bit much for a two year old. So, really appreciate your thoughts, what you'd like to see done to this thing. Just please bloop that in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a great project. Then we got another Comet welder. We've done one before, but this one's older. So that'll be getting torn apart here on Nice Junk. Then we got this Power Mate generator, which I paid $25 for. And it's not even dirty, it's dusty, but it's, it doesn't look like it's been used a whole lot. So that might be a, a great little me generator you know just for doing odd jobs in odd places you never know this is one of those things you put in a shed and you use once every four or five years then there's this vintage tricycle that came in the same lot as the wagon and it's real vintage. I haven't looked yet to see if there's any markings. But the rubber looks good. It comes with a bell. And I'm thinking before I can sell this, it's going to have to be restored. And I, you know, I've seen tricycles on uh, eBay going upwards to 275 Canadian. Yeah, 275 dollars Canadian. So, you know, it might be well worth the while. Here we got the uh, power fist welder. Look at that. I still got plastic on the hoses. Paid uh, $35 for that MIG welder. I think it's going to work. If it does, it'll be a good little welder for me. Yeah, it's a Princess Auto house brand power fist. But hey, 35 bucks. I'm cheap and I'm good with it. And, uh, might as well give it a try. I did look up the model up on the on the internet there and a lot of people are saying good things about them. So 
let's try her out. This old school welding helmet came with the Comet welder and uh, I don't know, it might make some yard art, not yard art, wall art. We'll see. Again, any ideas of how to pretty this up and turn it into art? Because it's not auto darkening or anything. Bleep bloop that in the comments. The suitcase came with the power fist welder and they said it was accessories for the welder. So let's take a look. Roll a MIG wire, point 0.8. A Lincoln auto darkening helmet. Wire brush in a bag. Some shields for the mask. And that's it. So that came with the Princess Auto welder. Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, hopefully it's not bothering the audio on this video. But anyways, we got a couple John Deere tractors. A Model G and a Model A. And uh, we're going to throw those up on the Evil Bay. So, I know my American friends don't know much about the Canadian Tire. It's pretty much an institution around here. So, the, the bottom four die casts are um, Canadian Tire, Studebaker, uh, pickup trucks and uh, they're also they double up as a bank so I have someone in mind that wants to buy they probably want to buy these but if not then they'll as well go on to the evil bay and on the top we've got a co-op um, sedan delivery die cast toy still in the box and that will be going on the evil bay And the, I saved the, the best for last. I know you guys think I've gotten off my rocker. Um, I bought 11 of these black memorabilia cast iron piggy banks. And I've got different sizes. And believe it or not, they range in price from 150 to 50 dollars each and I've got 11 of them so that is really exciting and I love them I would actually keep them for myself but I'm cheap and I want the money and I'd rather you know make sure I share it with a true collector someone that really wants them so the next Video. I know the last few videos have been boring. I don't. I, I could barely watch them myself. But anyways, um, the next video is going to be Motor Mountain Nice Junk Edition. Yeah, and we're going to have a special guest. I'm not going to tell you who that is, but it's going to be worthwhile to see who's coming for. Motor Mountain, nice junk edition. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And that was some nice junk. <laughs>